Short. So, how long do you think it'll take us to get the new Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. Oh, it's my safe word. Are you always this clever? Uh, have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Hey, there's still time. Trust a drink. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey, just, just let's talk. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just 
just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Here we go. <laughs> I'm tired of silence. I'm tired of your brother. And I'm tired of you. I know you don't. Get down. I heard We just talk about this. I don't think so. Fast. But you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just. Just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate? Samuel? Put your guns down! All of you! No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. She wanted to bet her life on that. Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Do it. Do it. Do it. Gun, put your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not the star. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're a businessman. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. Love to hear what you have in mind. Oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. Just. Wait. You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. The gout shows on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Oh, what the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, He's alive, and somewhat well. There was no breakout. 
I bribed the prison warden. And your brother, he just walked right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Oh. Yeah? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus. No. No. Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my light for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself, keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, don't, don't. Definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. And here we are. This place is huge. Where do we even start? Well, we start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking the window. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. Okay, what I tell you. Mm -hmm. It was worth a try. All right, let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. There, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. Brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, and kind of research papers, you know?
nothing in here. You were just up here. Nope. It's not going to be in this attic. The boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember them? She always used that off white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Was this your house? Hey, hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Megan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah, it's probably a knockoff of some... Oh, uh, budge! Here, let's do it together. You ready? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Huh? Let's go find out. <laughs> Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar too? On second thought, maybe not. Another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, hey, Nathan check, me, check out. me out. Now, who now, am who I? Am I? Huh? huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> nice. Hey, check it out.
So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. Fertility totems. Hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Wow. This table's as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. Yeah, I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn, they must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Jousting armor. Looks French. Hey, maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the window so much. Going in alone. A dragon gun. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Yeah, more like a generally made up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Fake or not? This looks like a first edition. Are you serious? Man, this place, man. Wow. I want to take it with you? Nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. See something there, be a never bullet. Samurai. Eh? You recognize the crest? Uh, Holly Hopkins are, um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? Okay. I don't think mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh, let's check upstairs. <sighs> Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet.
Where did he go upstairs? Of Arabia. Always wanted to see that place. Never got around to it though. Hmm, it's locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got then. Check this out. Are right, you ready? ready? Oh, oops. It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. A smile, all right? I'll see you on the other side. Okay. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Locked from this, this side, side too. too. And look around. Is there a key nearby?
yourself? Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Got something? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> it's your, it's your mum's box. I'm sure you would be taking the whole thing. Is a paradise? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. All right, all right. All right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady, it was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it, he had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's voice. Uh, hi. My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh, do you mind? You knew our mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illnesses... I'm sorry. It's all right. Happened a long time ago. 
of all her discoveries. This would have been her crowning achievement. Sixth Parvus Magna. Greatness from small beginning. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Here. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> Come on, Nathan. <laughs> Are you okay? okay? Holy hey. shit. Hey. 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 Sam? 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 Oh, oh, Khalid. Khalid. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. It's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Come on. Come in. The front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Don't think so. Okay.
I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was so... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. We can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Oh, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this, Mom's unfinished work, this is our chance to restart our lives with brand new identities. What are you talking about? I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name, Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? Everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. For a while, it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And after I lost him. After I thought I lost him. You didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. That's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you
you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, uh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive. Par for the course. And now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're going to need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar? No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean the dip, the, the escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost did it this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're headed to the northern side of the island? Yeah, New Devon. Home to the founders of Libertalia. And that's where Rafe is taking their brother. The treasure's probably there. Just need to save Sam before they find him. Look. Up there. I borrowed it from your shoreline friends. You slid all the way down from there? Yeah, it was the quickest way to get down to you. Now we just gotta figure out another way back up. Nate, boost me up this ladder? Yeah, here. <sighs> So, have you been here long? On the island? A few hours now. Did you see the colony? I did, from there. Pretty incredible, right? I didn't get the full tour. Right. So, did uh, Sully fill you in on the deal with this place? Yep. Henry Avery, 400 million, 12 founders, hundreds of colonists, something like that. Yeah, that just about covers it. Had some time to kill on the flight over. Wow. Is that an elevator? Sure looks like it. I swear, Avery recruited the best engineers of his time. He must have used it to move supplies upriver. Yeah, that's a fair bet.
There's your car. Just need to get up there. Well, what do you think? Which way? Well, let's take a look. It's too high. Let's find another way out. There's got to be something around here. Refreshing. Over here. Over here. Nate, Nate, can you give can me you a boost up? <laughs> All right. Be careful. Yep. Yep. What? See if you can find something I can use. Damn it. Oh. Hey, nice, hey, nice job. job! Not bad, right? Way to go, Nate. Piss a girl like that off. Idiot. Come on, I'll meet you around. No, no, no. Good, no, good. Nate? I'm okay! Sort of... Everything's under control! See if you can get back up here. Yeah. Yeah, roger that. Hey. Nate, can you find a way out of there? 
Looks like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. Been exposed to the weather, and who knows if it ever would have oh, oh. It works. I'll just uh, meet you at the top, I guess. Holy shit. Uh, nice moves, hon. Nothing to it. 